Hello everyone, welcome to DG Bytes. I am Vavu Gupta, your Alteryx expert, is here to discuss another interesting use case of Alteryx. As on community demand, today we are going to learn about blob input and blob output tools and also why they are used and in what cases we can utilize them. So why wait? Let's start. must be able to see now the familiar screen of Alteryx. But before jumping into and actually building the Alteryx workflow, let's first understand what are our inputs and what we are going to achieve and how we will going to do that. I will go to the input. So you can see there are two folders here. One is input files and another is output files. In the input files, we, you can see we have images of multiple Bollywood actors like Akshay, Disha, Ritik and others. So what we are going to use today as an input is these image files, the media files. All the files are currently in JPG format, but blob input can consume other media as well like PNG files or other types of images or media files. But today we are going to utilize uh, .jpg files of these actors as an input. And our target will be that we read these files and write these files into this output file folder. So how we are going to do it? Let's go to our Alteryx screen. So now let's search for a blob tool. I will insert the blob input tool as I can search here and I will drag it, it in the, on the screen. Now, if you see in the configuration, it's asking me for selecting the file name or the giving the path here. So I will just click here on the three dots and let's say I selected this image. If you see the size of the image, it's uh, showcasing at 3.66 KB. So if I click here and now if I run this, it will show me the size of the file in the bytes. So it's saying 3758 bytes and which is almost equal to that 3.66 KB uh, which we were seeing when we were hovering over that image. But my target is that I will be able to select all those images. And for that, what I will do is I will drag and drop here the directory tool. So in the directory tool, I will browse that particular file or I would say that particular folder where those files are. So I will go to C drive, select all tricks and their input files and click on OK. So now if you see that I can, uh, I have selected already that particular path where all those files are lying. I can also specify the type or extension of those files uh, which I want to provide as input. For example, .png files or .jpg files but in this case as I have only jpg files in my folder so I will not provide any such extension here so uh, all the images that are there in that particular folder will be uh, extracted as an input so now I will use a select tool to minimize the number of fields that I will pass to the blob input tool So I will remove all these files. Let's say I will select, uh, deselect all and then only select full path, file name or short file name. And here in the blob input configuration, I will like uh, try to replace the file name, uh, file like replacing fi entire path with the field and the full path is the uh, field where uh, it contains entire full path of that uh, particular file. And uh, if there is an error, like I have checked that stop with error if file not found. So if any particular file is not found in that particular folder, so the workflow will stop at that particular moment. There are other configurations as well, but right now let's first run this.
as you can see that in the output below we have uh, the full path that we provided the file name in the jpg format and also the short file name and the blob uh, size so in the blob character or the blob type where we can see all the uh, sizes of the images so there is another configuration here uh, which is says as blob options where we can split the blobs into chunks so basically blob is a kind of uh, type in which uh, it converts media into uh, multiple chunks so what it does is that suppose a file is of let's say 1 gb and we want to uh, like do not want to input or uh, extract it from the input source uh, in a one go instead we want to extract it into small small portions so what we can do is we can select or check this particular option and uh, like define the size of the different chunks we want to create and uh, then it will divide the whole uh, particular media or the source files into that particular chunks of that particular size which we define here and in that way uh, it will not be a big file instead it will be a small files so let's say i say 1024 and i again run it now if you see it has given a blob numbers as the size of these files are very small so there is only one chunk of each file has been created we have given 1024 kb and they are kind of like 5 kb and so on so let's reduce this to 1 kb now if i again run this i can see my file has been divided into multiple chunks so if you see the image of akshay kumar has been divided into six parts and so on for disha and other actors as well so this is how uh, this particular blob input tool works so let me for now remove this uh, check button and now see how blob output will work so now i will drag the blob output tool here and now it will ask me that where exactly i want to uh, like write these files whatever i providing as an input from the blob input so let me select the path uh, like all output files and here let's say for now i will just write it as test and save so every file that i will be writing will be converted to dot png uh, as per this configuration but right now what i will do is i will in my configuration i will replace the file name with the field and the field will be the short file name or file name i will say the exact file name which was in input and if i run this let's say what will happen the test png file was replaced with the file name that we had so for example akshay kumar.jpg was replaced by akshay kumar.jpg and if i now go to that particular output file folder i can see all those files which were exactly in the input files have been written so this is what blob input and output tools does so they takes input of a media files and write output as a media files so we can change the formats we can make any configuration changes as per our needs um, and whatever the features are available so this is the significance of these blob input output tools in case you have any kind of queries or any questions related to this topic you can mention those in comments or can write to us on the email mentioned in the description in case uh, you want to have understanding on other topics related to altrix please also main mention those uh, in the comments i with that i would say thank you everyone and please do subscribe our channels and share with others as well thank you